Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new Ask Victor. Uh, this is the episode 4 and I will try to answer the questions at the same time that I'm painting to share, to show with you something more interesting than just my face. So yeah, this is a video where you can make me questions about any topic that you would like to know from me and I will uh, answer them the best I can. Uh, I will most likely, I read them before just to be a little bit prepared but I will answer them uh, on the fly, I will say. Uh, yeah, if you want this to go ahead and keep running and you think it's interesting, just leave uh, a question in the comments below of this video and I will answer them. I will try to do once a month, more or less, uh, depending on, on how many videos and how many other topics I have. But most likely it will be about once a month. This one has been for a while because I had a lot of stuff that I want to share recently and is what it takes me more time. But now, yeah, now let's go to the questions and let's start with the first one. So the first one is from Heresy Productions. Uh, say, great ask Victor, how does your family like your hobby? Are your kids interested uh, in the game or painting or both? I would say, well, my family, it's, we try to, I try to balance this with my family. Uh, sometimes I, I need, um, I, I know myself and I can get a lot on the hobby, so it's a thing that I need always to, to be careful not to spend too much time and dedicate the appropriate time. So it's one of my, my pending things is or one of my focuses to balance this with my family. To be fair, my wife don't she tried painting but it's not her call. Uh, and my two sons are not too much into painting. Uh, one is just three years old, so it's too old, too um, young. To, to paint, I think, uh, and the other one paints some miniatures, but really it, he wants to paint a miniature in five minutes, so he has not yet the passion to paint miniatures or to dedicate time to painting. He, they get, he gets bored very easily. I will say in terms of gaming, I played um, with my older one a little bit of Silver Tower, but uh, it's the same. Uh, he's interested at the beginning after 20 minutes he wants to change the game. So I will say that so far the only successful was just today we played uh, one uh, game of the what is the, the name the, um, the one of the assassins. So we really uh, enjoyed this one we won the mission, we managed to kill the sorcerer it was our first game. So I'm trying more to play with my family this type of collaborative games and I decided to play the Assassins because I have all the miniatures painted and I just bought the game in eBay, the game with all the miniatures because I don't need more Assassins I don't, uh, I, and I have my cultists painted so in case I would need more in future I will do other things. So yeah, this is, but so far uh, I'm really the only one with pushing the hobby at home and not too many interest from my, from the rest of my family. I will say my little one it's too young and the other one is still is seven years old so it's a little bit early although i know that there are kids that are showing more interest at this age uh, she, uh, he really gets bored uh, very easily doing one activity that is lasting more than 20 minutes i would say uh, unless it's playing video games but yeah this is so far uh, yeah this will be the answer of this question so not too many passion from the rest of the family. I try to to see if I can create some some entertainment just by playing some of the other of some of the collaborative games where I can mm, just take care of all the rules and they just take care of the decisions. Let's go to the next question. The next question is from Tabletop Banter. Uh, I recently uh, visited Barcelona, very hot but beautiful city. Thank you very much. I really I like when people enjoy visiting Barcelona. I know that in summer it's really hot. Uh, my question for you: What uh, what drew you, you into Age of Sigmar? Okay, so I always collect fantasy, 
um, because I like the miniatures from fantasy. I like, I will say that I always feel more um, into fantasy than into science fiction when it comes to reading books or when it comes to painting miniatures. I like. But on the other side, I enjoy more playing 40k. I was not, yeah, the 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 rank, ranked uh, units was not my call. I will say. So when Age of Sigmar appear and they just remove this part and streamline the game, I just played the first the first week it appears or the second week, and I really enjoyed it. I found that it was very great and was more according to what I, how I like to play more like I would they say a skirmish game but it's quite a big skirmish game it's more like a simplified 40k so I really enjoy it I think the rules are pretty fast to learn and you can focus more on on giving and uh, the fluff to your army and making the army as you want so it's have a lot of freedom to tailor your army as you want and I think it's less complex at this moment than than 40k what really uh, hooked me into this game to the point that uh, I'm not too much interested in Ninth Age I may play because I, I have I know people around here that play and they want uh, and I want really to test it but I really I prefer more when we have the freedom uh, of movement uh, that we have in, in Age of Sigmar so really it's a game that hooked me from the first day it appears and each time I play, I really enjoy and I want to play more. So, yeah, this is my answer. Let's go to the next one. Uh, the next one is from Enig Beer. Uh, say, great entry, mate. I will try to remember how to pronounce it. Uh, yeah, because they were asking how my name is pronounced. Uh, thanks very much for entering. Uh, good luck uh, in the in the duo. What is your favorite 40k army to play rules wise and which one you like to see on, uh, most uh, sorry on which one you like to see on the table most to see your painting in action okay I will say I will start with the second part because for me it's it's the one army that I love to see on the table is my Harlequins. I think they look. I I love to see them on the battle, and I also yeah we're talking about 40k yeah. Uh, the Harlequins is really the army that I like to see on the table from from Harlequins, uh, because I, it's the last one I painted and I think looks. Uh, I love how they look like. I always been a big fan of the Harlequins. Rules wise, I would say rules wise, knowing seven edition, I think. Gage Workshop did quite a good job to make the rules matching the fluff of the army and I think this is great because I, I like when the rules are more or less aligned with what the army is supposed to do uh, but maybe one of my favorite ones in terms of rules and it's not because they are strong it's because of all the system is maybe Imperial Guard, Astro Militarum when you have um, a huge infantry and you have all these rules to give orders because that for me looks very fluff uh, you have a lot of uh, hierarchy you have all these type of rules and it's quite interesting rules that are not the, the standard ones that you have just uh, a special ability and that's all so really all this system of giving orders and make try to make um, just standard guys just some of the worst troops in the game try to make them more efficient just by orders and all these type of things I find this quite interesting but overall I say that all army for me have their own interesting point the demos with all the summoning I find also in great although it's not that yeah but I will, I will choose in this case Astro Militarum and it's all because of the uh, chain of command that I think it's a really great rule it's quite an old one, it appears very early, it was one of the, and, and the thing in Pedal Guard was one of these armies in having all these special rules. So, these are my answers. Thanks a lot for the question, Edivir. Then we go to the last one, I only have four questions from the last. I expect, I hope to, see, to have more in next time. So, good one, buddy. Do you get game regularly and 
do you play any video game as well? Um, I play more or less once a month, once, uh, two times a month, not too regular. I would like to play more. When I play, no, I, I play a lot on to, uh, more on day tournaments. So I, this means that I can do two, three games in one day. What is good? If you, uh, the only problem is that you have to rush a little bit more on the game. So yeah, I cannot play. I, I have to really balance with my family, and uh, yeah, I cannot play that, that many games. Um, I play video games. I just playing some of these uh, small fast games that you find sometimes and I try to avoid these games because they consume time and I prefer to dedicate my time, my free time to the hobby when I have some uh, spare time I prefer to, to dedicate it to the hobby, to read or to or to paint but I have to say that recently I I was downloading some games on, on the tablet for my son and I get a little bit Hook or my son wants me to play with him of one of these games that you have to. I, it's called uh, Gummy Goons, something like that. Gummy Drop, Gummy Drop. Sorry. And you, what you have to do is just try to put three colors uh, in line, and then if you do more than three times the same color in line, you get more bombs and all this type of stuff. So all these type of fast games that you only. I don't not really play in these video games. In the past, I used to play a lot. Um, in in the in the times of the PlayStation Two, I was playing a lot in Gran Gran Turismo. I always been a fan of the driving games. So yeah, that's all. So that's all for this. Uh, as Victor, these are the questions I received. Thanks a lot to everybody. Thanks a lot to um. LC Productions, uh, Tabletop Banter, Eric Beer and Tattoo for you for the questions. I really appreciate that. I hope to have more questions in future. I will try to answer and as I said, I don't want to do it. Uh, I want uh, my focus is to do this once a month. And yeah, if I have two, three, four questions, if, uh, I will do it. Uh, if I have more, I will enjoy more to do that. That's all for now. Uh, I, let me know what do you think about this format. If you like to do, uh, I like to watch the, uh, prefer me watching the camera, or you prefer me just uh, see how I'm painting at the same time that I'm talking. Quite well, is a little bit difficult sometimes, and I realize that I do more mistakes when I'm talking in different topics. So that's all. As usual, uh, leave if you have any question, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, this will help my this as Victor to keep going. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later. Bye. <laughs>